Good day, grade 10 learners! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today, ay i-discuss ko ang another type ng mga sequences, which is yung geometric sequence. So, ano naman ang kaibahan ni geometric sequence sa arithmetic sequence na una natin diniscuss? A sequence is geometric if there exists a number R sub 1 called the common ratio. Again, kung yung ating arithmetic sequence ay merong common difference wherein sinusubtract natin yung example, second term sa first term para makuha yung common difference, ngayon naman ay kukuhanin natin yung tinatawag natin common ratio. Such that, multiplying the previous term by R results in the next term. For example, 1, 3, 9, 27 is considered a geometric sequence or is an example of geometric sequence. So, ano daw yung imumultiply natin sa 1 para makuha yung 3? Ano yung imumultiply sa 3 para makuha si 9? At ano yung imumultiply sa 9 para makuha si 27? And it should be a common number. So, para makuha natin yung common ratio na tinatabag, we just divide second term to the first term. So, maga ang reverse ng multiplication ay division. So, our second term is 3 divided by 1 equals to 3. So, therefore, our R sub 1 is 3 or our common ratio. So, 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. And so, and so. And makukuha pa natin yung next terms by multiplying it by 3. So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng geometric sequence. So, ngayon, we are going to identify the common ratio and the next term in the following uh, sequence. So, number 1. Letter A. Sorry. 1, 2, 4, 8. Okay, so let's have the common ratio. So, a sub 2 over a sub 1 equals 2 divided by 1 equals to 2. So, therefore, our r sub 1 is 2. Ano kaya yung ating next term? We just multiply it by 2. So, 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. So, therefore, our next term is 16. So, let's have another example. B, 80, 20, 5, and so on. So, let us identify the common ratio and the next term. So, we have here A sub 2 divided by a sub 1. Our second term is 20 divided by 80 equals. So, ang lowest term natin, so hanapin natin yung common factor na pwedeng i-cancel so we can write 20 as 1 times 20 and 80 as 4 times 20. So, cancel natin yung 20. So, the lowest term is 1 fourth. So, therefore, the common factor is 1 fourth. How about the next term? Common ratio is 1 fourth. So, our next term. So, we have 80, 20, then 25, then 5 times 1 fourth equals... So, i-multiply lang natin yung 5. So, ipakita natin dito. So, magiging 5 times 1 fourth equals 5 times 1 is 5 fourths. So, therefore, the next term is 5 fourths. For our last example, letter C, 2, negative 8, 32, negative 128. And so on. So we have here a sub 2 over a sub 1. So negative 8 over 2 
negative divides positive is negative 8 divides 2 is 4 so our common ratio is negative 4 how about the next term so for our next term so we have negative 128 times negative 4 so positive I negative times negative is positive so 128 times 4 is 512 so that's how we get the common ratio in the next term so magagamit natin yung common ratio sa susunod kong discussion sa pagkuha ng mga given terms ng geometric sequence so I hope that you learned something today don't forget to like, share, and subscribe in our YouTube channel and see you in my next video that's all